Oh, um, uh, hello. Who, um, who are you exactly? A patient? You're here for an exam? Can you pay in cash? Oh, yes, the, the patient. Yes, of course, of course. Come, come right in, come on, come right in. Yes, no, take a seat, everything, yeah. I'd like you to feel comfortable. It must have slipped my mind being so busy with all of the other, um, appointments I have. <laughs> anyway, um, so, the examination you've come in for today is, of course, a, um, cranial nerve exam. Yes, yes, of course, just testing your mental faculties there, all part of the process. You understand? Um, so, these are some very simple tests, just to check everything's in working order. Nothing's too out of the ordinary, um, that sort of thing. Now, tell me, have you, um, have you had one of these done before? You have? Um, <laughs> and how many, might I ask? A hundred and one. Christ, um, you still think you need another one? Right, well, um... Luckily for you, I'm very professional. What are my qualifications? Um, wh wh well, I've got this tie. It's got, it's got polar bears on it. I think that's pretty good. Um, yes, very, very professional. Best of the bunch, actually. Um, and after a quick Google search, I do believe that I'm here to test your Olfactory, optic, ocular motor, trochlear, trigemine, lambducens, facial, vestibulo, cochlear, classopharyngeal, vagus, accessory, and um, hypoglossal nerves. Now, is that right? Yes, perfect. Now, um, I've no idea what those are, but I'm sure it can't be that complicated. In fact, it seems like something nearly anyone could do without having spent five to eight years in medical school. So I'll be sure to find any lumps, bumps, mumps, or humps, though um, I might be stumped if we find some clumps, but let's get started, shall we? Um, so, if it's all right, I'm just going to touch your face. Um, yes, of course, my hands are clean. I had a shower yesterday. Now, try to keep your eyes open while I just... Oh, shit. Um, sorry, did, um, did I just poke you in the eye? Oh, dear, let's, um, let's... Let's, re let's restart that, um, and, and try again, shall we? I promise, I'm very professional. So I'm just going to pull down on your eyelid with my thumb. So try and keep it open now. I'm just going to pull. I'm just going to pull down. So resist, 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 resist. Very good, very good. And now with the other eye, just resist, 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 and resist, resist, resist. That's very good. Perfect. Um, now we're going to do it the other way around, so try and keep your eyes shut. I'm just going to prise them open, so keep them closed, keep them closed, keep them closed. Keep them closed, keep them closed, keep them closed. Very good, very good. And now the other eye, just keep them closed, keep them closed, keep them closed. And keep them closed, keep them closed, keep them closed. Perfect. That's fantastic. You did great. Now, moving on my testing your eyes a little further testing your eyes a little further I have a reading chart here which you can look at so I'm um, the first first word here chair um no that's that's completely wrong actually that's it's quite concerning um are, are your eyes all right oh it's because I poked them right yes um that makes sense sorry about that um I blame her for putting them there in the first place. Um, why don't you, you take a moment to just kind of rub them in. Just ease them up so there. Blink a few times. Just blink, 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 blink. Okay, they feel better? Great, great. So, um, let's try that again then. So, first word up here. Hair. Yes, hair. It's the first word. Done. The second word done here now. Yes, rabbit, rabbit, that's right, rabbit, hair down to a rabbit, let's go down again, one more step, 
Yes, bunny. Down to a bunny. Down to a bunny. Now, fourth word, or batch of words, now getting very small, so I wouldn't expect you to necessarily get these. Oh, yes, yes. Remains of bunny. Open brackets. Post fox. Close brackets. Well done. Hare, rabbit, bunny. Remains of bunny, post fox. Now, last one down here, very tiny, very small stuff. Yes, dust bunny. Dust bunny, great stuff, dust bunny. Well done, very good, well done, well done. Next up, I have a quick colour chart for you, just to uh, test your own colour. So could you give me over here, over here, over here? Yes, orange, it's very good. And um, how about this one? No, not um, not brown. Uh, no, that's that's yellow actually. Oh, that's a little bit concerning. This this should be yellow to you. Um, we might have just learnt something. Are you possibly colour blind? Um, right. Well, let's let's do a couple more of these then, and just see if there's any other deficiencies. Um, how about over here, over here, over here. Purple, yes. Over here, over here, over here. Pink, perfect. Um, this one. Um, no, no, it's it's not blue. That's not blue. It is blue. You're insistent about that. I'm colourblind. Crikey, we really are. Let's put that away. Learning far too much today. Not sure I wanted to know all of these things. Um, what does that bring next? Ah, ah, yes. Light sensitivity. We're almost finished with your eyes now. Just a little bit left. Just a little bit left. Just going to shine a light into your eyes to see your pupils dilating properly. So bring that around, bring that around, and over here, just shining a light, shining a light, shining a light, shining a light. Hmm, that doesn't seem to be, it doesn't, I don't, I can't really see anything. I'm not sure that's working, but um, let me try a, try a brighter light, just in case. That doesn't seem to be working, it's not having much effect on your, okay, we've got a brighter light here, we've got a brighter light, just, just, and... Yes, that, there we go, I can see them. Pupils widening to let the light in properly. That's all behaving up to norm. And the other eye, the other eye. Yes, that's all working, that's all working, that's all working fine. Perfect, and the last bit with them. Could you just tell me when my fingers leave the screen? These fingers, when they leave the screen, moving out, good. senses. Just giving you a few little ointments to smell. And you can tell me what it is that you smell. So let me just put this under your nose, under your nose, under your nose. Can you smell? What can you smell? What can you smell? You can smell. Very good, very good. That is, yes, you got that one. It is earth and dewdrops on the grass as you step outside your tent after the first night's camp. Very good, very well. Distinguished, distinct nose. You have, um, okay, next one, we have another scent lined up here. What are you getting from there? Just get a good smell of that over there. Yes, that's exactly it. It is coming downstairs to pancakes frying. Someone's making pancakes. Very good, nicely recognised. Um, now I'm just going to apply some light pressure to parts of your head and your body. And just could you tell me if you feel any pain or discomfort? So I'm going to press in your cheeks. No, that's good. The sides of your temples. Not too much there. I'm just going to squeeze your chin. Okay, reach around the back of your head. Oh, that, that hurts a little bit. You like the pain. Um, moving on. N no judgment. Um, 
moving on. Um, here I have an instrument with points and ends both. Dull, dull, and sharp, 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 sharp. So, could you just tell me whether it feels dull or sharp when I press it against you? I'm just going to tap there. Good. You've been excellent, you've done very well. Um, I just have one more test left, which most doctors, not myself, far less professional than myself, tend to forget, which is a memory recall uh, test, and as well as your imaginative capabilities. I'm here to test your imaginative capabilities and memory recall. And now the test for this is very simple. I just need you to close your eyes, close your eyes, and take a deep, slow breath. A deep, slow breath. And I would like to ask you to begin imagining a place in which you feel safe and happy through deep breaths. Take a moment to find this environment. As you begin to find it, I would like you to tell me where you are. What time of day is it? How is the weather outside, and the temperature where you are? Who, if anyone, is around you? What are people doing? Now, my final question, please could you tell me why this memory or place makes you happy, calm, or brings a smile to your face? Wonderful. That's a lovely moment. I must say, in my professional opinion, that your imaginative capabilities are superb. Just a shame that the rest of you is a bit of a mess, but the world would be awfully dull if we were perfect, and that goes for both of us. Now, run along, um, leave the money on the counter, um, but, and whilst I can't encourage this obsession with receiving examinations and demands for diagnoses, if you must insist on a 101st visit, do be sure to come my way. <laughs>